Leo Krimin, buenas noches chicos. Leo Leo Krimin. Ok, si permítanme un segundito mientras comparto nuevamente el enlace con los chicos. Ok. Hello, hello. Welcome, Daniel. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. No, disculpe, chicos. Ahí teníamos un conveniente con el enlace, pero ya estamos acá. Okay. Ok, Carmen. Ok, bien, nada más chicos. Eh, bueno, bienvenidos nuevamente. Y nada más, este, un recordatorio para que estén pendientes. Um, creería que como a las 8 y 20 más o menos, este, llenaríamos una encuesta de satisfacción del, por haber culminado el módulo. Entonces vamos a, a hacer eso más o menos a esa hora. Yo les voy a estar compartiendo algunos datos para que ustedes la, la llenen. Eh, Daniel, no sé si ya, ya llenó alguna encuesta o les enviaron alguna información al correo. Sí, nos enviaron un enlace para llenar la encuesta. Yo sí ya la llené. Ya la llenó, ok. Sí. Bueno, pero en todo caso, este, yo creería que algunos nos faltan para que sigamos, eh, para que la llenen los demás. Vamos a ver. Okay. Okay. 
Ok, Ingrid, de acuerdo. Ok, Carmen, ya la tenía. Ok, muy bien. Uh, welcome again. And, um, well, this is our uh, competence for today. Um, let's see. Daniel, can you help us? Participants will able to express where their workplace are located and how to get to them by using, using the position of all place. Okay. Um, well, actually, in this class, we're going to be talking about our workplace, but you're going to describe your workplace. So we're going to learn a little bit about uh, adjectives, and that's basically what you're going to study today, adjectives, okay? So that's our uh, specific objective. Okay, so we're going to start. We're going to check. Let me check, uh, let me open that. Okay, so since in our previous class, we were talking about, um, okay, we're talking about locations, right? Um, and I think that you have uh, some fun, right? So now we're going to look at the map and then answer some questions that we have um, based on this map, uh, places in a city. Look at the map and then answer the questions. Okay, so let's observe the map. I'm gonna send you a picture. Vamos a ver ahí una foto. So you can have the picture in order to answer the questions, okay? So there you have it. Ya está ahí, chicos, en el meeting chat. Para que ustedes lo vayan viendo el mapa. Ok, just give me some seconds. That's too big. Ok, better. So, as you notice, there are uh, different stores and buildings, like shops and hospitals. For example, there's school. What else can you see in, in this picture? <clears throat> So what uh, stores or shops can you see? There is a school. What else? There is a school. Anything else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más, chicos? There is a school. There is a hospital. A hospital. Okay, a hospital. Hospital. Uh, what else? There is a park. A park. Okay. Supermarket. Okay, supermarket. Okay, supermarket. Postal office. Como es la oficina de correos. Uh -huh, a post office. Post okay. office. Yes. Post office. Is there any restaurant? Is there any restaurant? Yes, no. Can you see one? Any restaurant? Yes. Okay. Parece restaurante. <laughs> <laughs> okay, parece. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that's a sandwich. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. mm, yeah, I know. I thought you were looking at this one. Pensé que estaban viendo este, ahora sí ya vi este. <laughs> ok, uh, sandwich restaurant. <laughs> ok, um, have you seen a cinema in the picture, in the map? Is there any? Is there any cinema? Yes, there is a yes. cinema. Ajá, uh -huh, there is a cinema. Ok, how about, ok, a clothes store. Is there Close a clothes store? store? Uh -huh. There is a clothes store. Clothes store, okay. What else? Well, there are actually two, right? En realidad hay dos. Farm, farm, como es que la granja. Ah, okay. A farm, there is a farm. farm. There is a farm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think that's all right. Ah, okay. Uh, have you seen a bank? Veterinaria es esa. Mm, <laughs> not sure. Bueno, me imagino que sí intentaron hacer una veterinaria para el mismo dibujito. 
Sí, se ve el vale en Europa, veo. Ajá, that's a, aquí. In a, a bank, right? In a bank. Bank. But, but you're right. So let's see, a, let's check the question. Vamos a ver las preguntas que no salen. Okay, now, is there a supermarket? I'm going to send you the link. Yes, okay. there is. Yeah, that's too easy, right? Uh, oh, well, I cannot send it. Yes, there is. Uh, Daniel, read the next, second question. Are there three cars? Guys, are there three cars? Yes, three cars. Where? Bueno, one car, one, one, one car, one ambulance, two bus. Ah, okay. Mm, two buses? Ah, two yes. Buses. yes. Ah, two buses. Yeah, oh. There are two buses and two cars and one ambulance. Okay, so now there aren't, right? Okay, Um, are is there a swimming pool? Did you see a swimming pool? Any swimming pool? No. No, no there isn't, right? But it's a very okay, complete a town, day. right? Good night. Hello, good night. Well, good evening, right? Good evening. Is there a dog? Yes, there is a dog. There is a dog. Where is the dog? <laughs> At the clothes store, buying some clothes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, there is, right? Um. Okay, uh, are there two parks? Did you see two parks? Vieron yes, los... there are two parks. Uh -huh, there are two parks, right? Okay, Um. are there two shops? Two shops? Two shops. Uh -huh. Two shops. Yes, I mean, yes. there are two shops. There are two shops. Okay, so let's mark that. Okay, is there a school bus? Any school bus? Yes, me parecen dos, there are um, school bus. Um, yeah, yeah, there are, there are some, there are two. Okay, um, next question. Um, is there a hotel? Do you see a hotel? Hey. Any no. hotel? No, right? No, no, not any hotel. Oh, uh, there isn't. No, there isn't. Okay, are there two supermarkets? Two supermarkets. Supermarket. How many? Two or one? <laughs> only one, right? One supermarket. Uh huh. There is only one. Same. Okay. No, there, there aren't, right? Is there a zoo? A zoo? And the farm. <laughs> uh -huh. No, there isn't, right? But there is a farm, right? Okay, nice. So now we have to order the sentences, okay? So we have some sentences. Number there, one. There, there is a supermarket. Okay, there is a supermarket. So let me check if I can send you this. No, why not? Well, probably next time. Okay, uh, number two. This one. We have to uh, order that sentence. It's a baker. Uh huh. Is there? Is there a bakery? A bakery. Answer. Yes. Is yes. There. Yes. There, there is. is. Okay, how about the next one? The siguiente? It's a question. Is there a bank? Is there a bank? Okay, is there a bank? No, no. there isn't. There isn't. There is. No, there isn't. Perfect. Okay, how about this one? Uh, aren't cinemas that are two? There aren't two cinemas. Okay. Very good, Mario. Okay, there are in two cinemas. Ya le pasó la grip. <laughs> sí, sí, ya me pasó. <laughs> okay, let's... Ya, 100%. <laughs> Excellent. 
<laughs> How about this one? Hospitals. The two are hospitals. There are two hospitals. Two hospitals. Okay, there are two hospitals. Sí, que lo escuchaba bien apagado, ¿no, Díaz? Ah, verdad, verdad. La gripe, la gripe. <laughs> okay, are. How about this one? Rest are there two restaurants? Are there two? Oh, okay. They are in no. Are there two? Restaurants. 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 No. They aren't. No. No. There aren't. Okay. Shops. Question. Are the three shops? Okay. Are there three shops? Okay. Are there three shops? Okay. Which is yes, the answer? Okay. Yes. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. And the last one, y la última. There is an office. There is an, is an, is an, is an office. Uh, office. A post, post office. office. Ah, okay. Okay, post a post office. office. There is an, a post office. office. Excellent. Ok, vamos a empezar, chicos, con la encuesta. Les voy a compartir el enlace para quienes no lo tienen, ¿ok? Pero se les envió al correo, me parece también. Pero yo se les comparto ahorita, ¿ok? Bueno, ok, ahí ya nos apoyaron ahí, eh, la licencia Flor. Bien, vamos a, a llenar esa encuesta. En primer lugar, eh, déjenme ubicarles esto por aquí. Ok, ahí en el chat, abramos el meeting chat. Ok, punto número uno, vamos a ver el video. Ok. Recuerde que la encuesta la llenará, bueno, la vamos a llenar juntos. Primero vemos el video. Al terminar, y empezamos, ¿verdad? Terminar de llenar la encuesta, tenemos que enviar una captura de pantalla que compruebe, ¿verdad? Que usted realizó esa encuesta. Y así como lo hizo por ahí una persona, ubica el, su nombre completo. Eso lo vamos a enviar, esa captura. La captura se envía a, cuando usted ya termina la, la encuesta. Usted envía esa captura de, de finalizado y la envía al grupo de, de WhatsApp. Y ahí va a ubicar junto a la captura, va a ubicar su nombre completo. Okay. Entonces, eh, solamente vamos a llenar una vez esta encuesta. Por lo tanto, debemos de ser cuidadosos con la información que ubiquemos, que sea la correcta. Entonces, los datos que se les van a solicitar serían los que están más abajito, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, datos del curso. Hay ciertos este, espacios donde le solicita un código, un nombre, el nombre del curso, fecha de inicio y fecha de finalización y también una, un código de orden de inicio. Entonces ese se, se ingresa, ¿verdad? Tal cual, solo lo copiamos y lo pegamos. Bien. Entonces ahorita eh, lo que quiero es que pues, veamos el video Pueden abrirlo y verlo. Y cuando lo, una vez terminado, dura como dos minutos más o menos. Entonces, una vez terminado, ya empezamos con el llenado. La sugerencia es que veamos el video primero para que después ya la podamos llenar y que vayan eh, pues consultando ahora si hay alguna duda de qué es lo que van a ubicar en algún espacio, porque solamente la llenamos una vez esa encuesta. Ahorita los dejo viendo el video y ya pues después seguimos. De acuerdo. Gracias. 
Okay, nada más una confirmación, chicos, que cuando ya hayan terminado de ver el video, ya me avisan cuando ya hayan abierto el enlace, ¿verdad? Para estar sabedora de que todos están eh, completando la encuesta. Ok. Y chévere comentarle que no me ha salido el video, ¿no? solo la encuesta. Ok, está en el. Sí. Y bueno, traigo, yo voy a está arribita. Ese es el enlace. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay.
Muy bien, chicos. Acá eh, lo que van a hacer en el punto uno, me eh, parece que ya la mayoría ha terminado de ver el video. Acá lo que vamos a hacer es ingresar el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca. Es, este ya está proporcionado, ya está escrito ahí en el, en el chat de Zoom para que solo lo copie y lo pegue. Es este. Luego, en el punto número 2, ingresamos nuestro nombre completo. Tienen que ingresar su nombre completo según su duyo, Nombre completo. Correo electrónico que usted nos ha compartido. Su número de celular. En el punto 4. Punto 5, el sexo. Punto 6, departamento de residencia. Entonces acá solo van desplegando y seleccionan el departamento. Municipio después, ubicamos el municipio de residencia y la empresa donde trabaja. Ahí tienen que ubicar el nombre de la empresa y cómo está, pues, como ustedes lo han presentado, ¿verdad? Directamente con su razón social. Pues debe de ir así como en el ejemplo que les enviaron el correo, me parece. Y tiene que ser el nombre de la empresa con su razón social. Entonces tiene que tener cuidado ahí, que de ubicar el nombre correcto de la empresa. Y en el punto 9. Vamos a elegir el centro de formación que lo ha capacitado. Y aquí buscamos eh, inglés corporativo. Este está acá, inglés corporativo. Lo seleccionamos y luego ingresamos el nombre del curso. El nombre del curso es, ahorita les digo, se lo voy a pegar ahí también. Inglés principiante módulo 1, tal cual está en, eh, ahí en el, el chat de Zoom. Inglés principiante módulo 1. Ustedes solo vayan copiando ahora, solo vayan copiando los datos y los van pegando ahora. Y acá esto valore los siguientes aspectos, el punto 11 relativos al curso. Usted va a dar ahí su valoración. Ok, el punto 12, muy importante, son las fechas, las fechas que inició el curso. También lo obtenemos ahí del chat, el Zoom. Iniciamos 19 de abril de 2023. Okay. Vamos acá, donde está el calendario. Y nos vamos acá con la flechita desplegando al día 19, 19 de abril. Ahí okay, vemos ahí, 19 de abril 2023. Está correcto. Ahora la fecha de finalización sería 19 de mayo. Ya está. Solo para seleccionar ya, 19 de mayo del 2023. Y acá, eh, punto 14, ¿cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso? Usted pone ahí, ubica, satisfecho, insatisfecho. Puede mencionar en el punto 15 que otros cursos son de su interés. Ok, y el punto 16, comentarios. Luego envía y toma una captura de pantalla de haber completado esta encuesta. Y ya luego nos envía esa captura al grupo de WhatsApp con su nombre completo. ¿Hay alguna pregunta, chicos? Cher, fíjense que como a mí me tocó que cambiar de teléfono, ¿verdad? Por, por la compañía. Entonces yo perdí el, el WhatsApp. 
el número de WhatsApp para poder enviar la captura. Ah, ok. Ahorita vamos a solicitar que no que lo agregue entonces. Sí, es que Ajá. a principios de, de mes nos se terminó el contrato, entonces nos dieron nuevos teléfonos y nos tocó que pasar toda la información y se me perdieron varios números de teléfono también. Ok, envíen, compártame su número de teléfono ahí en WhatsApp. Vamos a ver, María, creo que tenemos. Vamos a ver si lo tengo por Es 79-87-47-65. Ok, me lo repite, María. 79-87-47-65. Ok. Ok, ahorita les confirmó quiénes este, ha enviado la, la captura. Y, Dan, vamos a ver, Daniel, para bueno, Daniel me envió un PDF. Ok, tengo acá la captura de Carmen, Daniel, Jonathan, William, Dora, ok, Dora Cornejo, y esta de acá es Aníbal López. Imagino que es la última, ¿verdad? Aníbal, no sé si ahí ya, ya la compartió. Creería que es la, creería que es, no, no, no es eso. Ok. Ubique ahí el nombre Mario, creo que es Mario. Sí. Ubique ahí su nombre. ¿Dónde sería? Ahí junto a la solo póngale ahí su nombre a la par de eso. Solamente selecciona la imagen y ahí ubique su nombre. A la par de la captura. Es... Ajá, solamente envía un mensaje junto con la captura. Mm, ya, ya lo he puesto. Según en el, el, en, la encuesta ya la he llenado. Mm, no, tiene, es que acá en el chat Ajá. En el chat tiene que ubicar, junto con la captura, tiene que ubicar su nombre, así como lo han hecho los demás compañeros. No lo han agregado todavía. No, por eso no. le preguntaba. Porque... Ah, vaya, pues no, todavía no. Vamos a ver entonces. 
Para poner el menu chat están dos. ¿Verdad? Entonces, la primera la abro y sí. Pero también me da la otra de enviar. No, ahí este... Pero ya la completó. ¿Sí? Y ya tomó la captura. En este momento. Ajá, tomó la captura. Y gracias Kevin, gracias Fernando. Okay, Aníbal, le voy a reenviar los datos ahorita al chat de Zoom. Ok. Quería que no lo recibió, quizás se ingresó después, pero ahorita se los envío. Me confirma, Aníbal, ahí se le aparece, pero en el chat de, de, de acá, de la llamada, de, de Zoom. Por tanto, ¿Ah, ¿Ah, Ok, Aníbal. Veamos, eh, tenemos acá, ¿quién nos hace falta? Edgar. Edgar ya nos compartió la captura. Ok, acá tengo una. Ah, Ingrid. No, ya está ahí. Listo, Ingrid. Vamos, ¿quién más? Eh, estoy pendiente ahí con Edgar. Edgar, ¿está por acá? En un momento, ya. Ok. Y Francisco. Hola, Francisco. Se nos apoya Francisco ahí con la encuesta, enviándonos la captura de pantalla a cuando haya eh, culminado de, de llenarla. Efraín, buenas noches. ¿Está por ahí? Hola, buenas noches, Efraín. Si está por ahí, me confirma. Y bueno, Francisco también ahí me confirma nada más. Solamente espero, los espero a ustedes dos. Y luego, bueno, Mario me, le, me comparte la captura acá en el. Ajá. Acá ahorita yo le dejo un mensaje para que después, este, cuando ya lo agreguen, ya lo. lo Ajá, dígame, Edgar. Eh, Efraín está de turno ahorita. Creo que no está. Ah, ok. Bueno, entonces vamos a tratar de comunicarnos con él. Ok, okay Me permite, solo voy a, voy a pasarme de, de la compu a la, el teléfono. Ok, no hay problema, Mario. Bueno, gracias.
Ok, bien, vamos a continuar, chicos. Um, ok, so we're working in here with this activity. And look at this. Um, look at the map, then drag and drop. So we're talking about some prepositions during the week. Um, as for, for example, in front of, between, next to. And look at these um, sentences that we have over here. Um, Dora, please help us. Help us reading the five sentences. Five. There is a dog next to the supermarket. Okay. Okay, so let me see. There is a bike. So the first one. Number one. Number one, sorry. Ah, uh, number one. Number there one to five. Bike. Mm -hmm. There is a bike in front of the hospital. Okay. There is a bank between a shop and a school. Okay. And there is a restaurant next to the bakery. Okay, next to the bakery. Ah, okay. Uh, there is a blue car in front of the supermarket. And five, there is a dog next to the supermarket. Okay, perfect. So we're going to drag um, the following picture. There is a bike in front of the hospital. Where is the hospital? So let me see. Okay, there is a bike in front of the hospital. Mm -hmm. okay. Number two, there is a bank between okay. a shop, mm -hmm. uh -huh. between a shop and a school. So what do you think here? Between. Uh -huh. Between. Where exactly? Here? So it could be, okay. So I think this is a shop and the school. Okay. Awesome. There is a restaurant next to the bakery. Restaurant next to, okay, so let's check. Mm, well, I thought it was a, uh, restaurant but probably that's a baker right okay um there is a blue car in front of the supermarket supermarket where is the supermarket here right okay and let's see there is a dog next to the supermarket next to the supermarket Again, where is the supermarket? Here, right next to. And where is the sentence? There is a bank between a shop and a school. Yeah, I made a mistake with the pictures. Okay, that was the, the bank, right? And this is the, the bakery, right? Okay, the restaurant. Okay, so now read the sentences and choose the correct up preposition. There is a cinema. There is a cinema. Where is the cinema? In front of, between, or next to a shop and a park. There is a cinema. Let's look for the cinema. Mm -hmm. So which could be the right preposition. There is a cinema. In front of, between, or next to Three. a shop. Uh-huh. Between. Between, right? Okay. Number two, there is a school. There is a school. Where is the school? Next to the park. Uh huh. Next to a park. Okay. There is a bakery. There is a bakery. Bakery. Mm. So let me check. That's a shop, so probably that's the bakery. Okay, so there is a bakery in front of, between, or next to a park. 
yeah, this is the bakery. From. Mm -hmm. In front of, in front of, okay. There is a supermarket, the hospital. Okay, so let's check again the prepositions in front of, between, and next to. There is a supermarket. Where is that? So there you have it. Supermarket. This one, right? Mm, this is the restaurant, the bakery, and the supermarket. Okay, so there is a supermarket in front of, between, or next to the hospital. What do you think, guys? Tell me. Mm. Hey. So check it again. Next. Mm, next to the hospital. In front of the hospital. Uh-huh. In front, right? And there is a post office, a shop. There is a post office in front of, between, or next to a shop. Post office. Where is the post office? Post office. Next. Next to. Okay. Next to a shop. Okay, next to a shop. And the last one, there is a supermarket in front of a hospital in a forum between or next to? Between. Between. Let's check. There is a supermarket between a hospital and a farm. Okay. Yes, right? Okay. There is a hospital. Uh -huh. The supermarket. So let's finish that and let's check. And uh, let's see. Okay. So that was good. Mm, okay. Is there a school bus? Ah, oh, yeah, it was. Yes, there is. Okay. So, almost, almost there. Okay, so we'll continue, guys, with a um, new topic for today's class, and that's basically about adjectives. So, just let me share that back again. Okay. So, we're going to start with a conversation. Vamos a empezar acá con una conversación. And we have Lucy meets Bob at the shop. Let me check. Okay. About his part time job. Okay. So we have Lucy and Bob. Hi, Bob. So can you see the conversation? Ya ven la conversación, chicos? Mm -hmm. That's a long conversation, right? Okay. So read that with me. Hi, Bob. How's it going? Hi, Bob. Mm -hmm. Hi. How is it going or has it going, right? Okay, um, has it going? Fine, thanks, and you? Just fine. Just fine. Okay, where are you off to? Where are you off to? Off to, okay, to the library. Okay, para donde va? Off to means? Okay, me está indicando una dirección. ¿Hacia dónde va? So, where are you off to? ¿A dónde vas? To the library. Okay. I have finished, I have to finish the assignment for tomorrow's class. Assignment, what's that? Assignment? Assignment? What's that? Ideas? What's an assignment? Oh, sorry. Uh-huh. Una tarea, right? Assignment, an activity, a task. Okay. Uh, why don't you do it at home? Why don't you do it at home? Okay. So we have a negative question. Why don't you do it at home? ¿Por qué no la haces en casa? So that's a negative question. Double H question. I have a part time job. What's a part time job, guys? Part time job? Un trabajo. Parcial, a medio tiempo. Un trabajo, okay, de medio tiempo. Parcial. Okay. 
uh, in the evening. So when I get home, así que cuando llego a casa, when I get home, I'll be too tired. Estaré, okay, I'll, I'll be too tired to do an assignment. So what's the meaning for tired? You know it? Tired? What's that? Cansado. Cansado. Okay. Where do you work? I work in a cafe. Why do you like that job? It's interesting. Okay. It's interesting. I really enjoy working with people and get extra money. How is the pay? Okay. Como es? El pago. Okay. How is the pay? How is the pay? The pay is all right. The pay is all right. Está bien. The pay is all right. I get seven euros an hour. Okay. Siete euros la hora. I would like to learn. And we have another structure. I would like. So what's the meaning? Me gustaría. I would like to earn. Okay. So what's that? Ganar, right? I would like to earn more as I need. Okay. Más como yo necesito. As I need a lot of money. More. Porque necesito mucho dinero. To buy what? A new laptop and a smartphone. And how will you do that? Okay. How will you do that? ¿Cómo harías eso? How will you do that? I'll try to pick as many extra shifts as I can. Okay. I'll try to pick up. Trataré de, de qué? De tomar. What? Shifts? Ideas? What's a shift? Any idea, guys? I'll try to pick, us, uh, pick up as many extra shifts as I can. Any idea, Daniel? Um, Johnny, extra shift? Turnos, extra, okay? Turnos, extra, mm -hmm. extra shift. As I can. Okay, I'll try to pick up as many extra shifts as I can. Trataré de tomar tantos turnos extra como, como yo puedo. Como yo pueda. What about your studies? ¿Qué hay de tus estudios? What about your studies? How will you manage your time? How would you manage? ¿Cómo manejarías? How will you manage? Or organize o a organizar ¿verdad? su tiempo, your time, okay? How will you manage your time? Well, I don't know yet, no sé aún, so yet means aún, todavía, okay, aún. I might consider taking, pueda que, pueda que, I might consider, pueda que considere tomar pocos cursos. Okay, next semester, right? I wouldn't do that if I were you. I wouldn't do that. No haría eso. No haría eso. Si fuera tú. Okay, si fuera tú, no haría eso. Okay, um, next part. Um, you should make your studies the first priority. Okay, tú deberías hacer tus estudios tú. Primera prioridad, right? Oh, la primera prioridad. What if your parents know about it? ¿Qué? Ok. ¿Qué si tus padres se, se enteran, se dan cuenta, o sea, lo saben? Uh, you're right. Ok, estás en lo cierto. That's, thanks for your advice. Gracias por tu advice. What's that? Gracias por tu consejo, right? I got to go now. I have got okay, to go now. Tengo que irme ahora. See you later. See you, Bob. 
So now let's check again the vocabulary that we don't know. What are you off to? A donde vas? Okay. So the answer is I'm off to, I'm off to the bank, for example. I'm off to, I'm off to the library. I'm off to, so you mentioned any place, right? I'm off to the supermarket, okay? Where are you off to? Assignment, 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 that's a homework. Why don't you do it at home? Why don't you do it at home? ¿Por qué no lo haces en casa? Why don't you do it at home? Why don't you do it at home? Part-time job, part-time job. I'll be, okay, tired. I'll be tired. Estaré cansado and be tired. How is the pay? How is the pay? How is the pay? Como el pago, I would like, me gustaría, I would like to earn. Okay, me gustaría ganar. Aquí podemos cambiar el verbo, I would like to. Um, let's see. Swim, for example. Me gustaría nadar, comer. I like to eat an ice cream, for example. Entonces ahí vamos a ubicar un I would like to y acá el verbo la acción, ¿verdad? Lo que, lo que queremos expresar, ¿qué le gustaría hacer? I would like to eat, I would like to uh, travel, I would like to study, I would like to uh, let's see, learn a new language, I would like to visit Spain, for example, I would like to um, earn means ganar, ¿ok? Ganar. Ganar dinero, ¿verdad? ganar dinero. Uh, you win a competition. Es decir, ganar una competencia, ¿verdad? Un, un juego. How will you do that? How would you do that? How will you do that? ¿Cómo harías eso? How will you do that? How will you do that? How would? So just keep in mind this. How would? Would. No L. Okay? Would. So then you're going to pronounce something like this. How would? How will you do that? Okay, I know I'm how we got L. How will you do that? Extra shifts. Okay, extra shifts. How will you manage your time? Okay, como organizarías, como arreglarías tu tiempo, como organizarías tu tiempo. How will you manage your time? Okay, this is yet, yet, aún, I might consider, okay. Okay, I might consider, I might consider, pueda que considere, o quizás considere, y quizás considere, o pueda que considere. I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't, 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 okay, wouldn't. Listen, wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. If I were you. If I were you. Si fuera tú, okay. No lo haría, right? Si fuera tú, I would study. Okay. If I were you, si fuera tú, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go. Okay. No iría. Uh, thanks for your advice. Gracias por tu consejo. I have got to go now. Or I've got to go now. Me tengo que ir ahora. Okay? Me tengo que ir. Ya. Yeah, right. Me tengo que ir. Okay, so that's part of the vocabulary that you will find in this conversation. So now, let's see. Any other question about the vocabulary? No sé si hay alguna pregunta adicional del vocabulario que hemos estado viendo acá. Tell me. Tell me if you have a question. Okay, so we're going to read the conversation now. Okay. Y ahora sí la vamos a leer sin uh, ya detenernos en el vocabulario. Okay, hi Bob, how's it going? Hi Bob, how's it going? Fine, thanks, and you? Just 
fine. What are you off to? To the library. I have to finish the assignment for tomorrow's class. Why don't you do it at home? Why don't you do it at home? I have a part-time job. I have a part-time job in the evening. So when I get home, I'll be too tired to do an assignment. Where do you work? I work in a cafe. Why do you like the job? It's interesting. I really enjoy, I really enjoy working with people and get extra money. How is the pay? The pay's all right. The pay's all right. All right? Repeat that. All right. All right. The pay's all right. I get seven, seven euros. Okay. Seven euros an hour. I would like to learn to earn more as I need. I would like to earn more as I need a lot of money to buy a new laptop and a smartphone. Okay, again, I would like to earn more, more as I need a lot of money to buy a new laptop and a smartphone. Then how will you do that? And how will you do that? How will you do that? I'll try. I'll try, listen, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll try to pick up as many extra shifts as I can, shifts as I can. What about your studies? What about your studies? How will you manage your time? How will you manage your time? Well, I don't know yet. I might consider taking fewer courses next semester. Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. You should make your studies the first priority. Priority, priority. What if your parents know about it? Um, you're right, you're right, you're right. Thanks for your advice, Lucy. I got to go now, I got to go now, okay? I've, 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 I've got, to go now, okay. I'll, in I've, I got to go now, I got to go now. Then I'll be tired, for example. I'll be tired. So there you have the pronunciation in parentheses, right? I've got to go now, I'll be tired. Okay, so now let's see, let's, um, we're gonna listen to people, and then you're going to practice in the break of rooms. Let's see, um, Johnny, please help us, Johnny. Okay, so I think he's a listener. Daniel, and let's see, Dora. Hello, Dora. Hello. Okay. So try to read that conversation, guys. Now, Dora, you're going to be Lucy and uh, Daniel, you're Bob. Yeah. Hi, Bob. How is, how is it? How is, how is it going? Okay. How is it going? Fine, thanks. And you? Just fine. Where are you? Up to? To the library. I have to finish the assignment assignment for tomorrow's class. Why don't you do it at home? I have a part-time job in the evening, so when I get home, I'll be too tired to do an assi assignment. Where did you work? I work in a cafe. Why do you like the job? It's interesting. I really enjoy working with people and get extra money. How is the pay? Pay is all right. I get seven euros an hour. I could like to earn more as I need a lot of money to buy a new laptop and a smartphone. 
And how will do you with that? I'll try to pick up as many extra chips as I can. What about your studies? How will you manage your time? Well, I don't know yet. I might consider taking fewer courses next semester. I would do that if I were. You should make your studies the first priority. What if your parents know about this? Uh, you're right. Thank you for your advice. Lucy, I've got to go now. See you later. See you later. Okay, thank you guys. Well done. Okay. okay. So the question, how will you do that? How will you do that? How will you do that? How will how you do, will that? do that? How will you do that? How will you do that? Como Aria says, so how will you do that? Okay. Now, now, okay. now, 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 should, and should, should, should. Okay, let's check the um, word. Okay, you should make your studies the first, first priority. Okay, you should, you should make your studies the first priority, priority. Okay, so now we're going to work in pairs and the breakup one. So you're going to practice the conversation at least once, okay? So let me open the breakout rooms. Uh, so please uh, join the breakout rooms and start practicing with a classmate. I'm gonna send you a screenshot. Ahorita les comparto la captura para que ustedes la puedan conversar. Okay, chequen ahí la invitación, chicos. Uh, Jonathan. Ok. Y, um, Jonathan, vamos, ¿quién más ahí? Eh, Fernando, Fernando. Voy a compartir nuevamente. más pero no yo creo que solo nosotros dos si ah, gusta okay. empiece usted ahorita y yo en la siguiente ronda empiezo yo buenísimo hi Bo how is it going fine thanks and you just fine where are you from where are you off to to the library I have to finish the assignment for tomorrow's class why don't you do it at home? I have a part-time job in the evening, so when I get home, I'll be too tired to do an, an assignment. Uh, where do you work? I work in a cafe. Why do you like to job? It's interesting. I really enjoy working with people and get extra money. Oh, how is the pie? Puya, le preguntaste el pago. <laughs> ah, todas las referencias. 
Está bien. The pies are right. I get seven euros an hour. I would like to earn more as I need a lot of money to buy a new laptop and my smartphone. And how will you do it, that? I try to pick up as many extra chips as I can. I can. What about your st studies? How, how will you manage your time? Well, I don't know yet. I might consider taking fewer courses next semester. I will do that if I where do you where you 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 should make your studies the first priority. What if you parents knows about it? Uh, you're right. Thank you for your advice, Lucy. I I go to go now. See you later. See you, Bo. Uy, tiene como media frasecita medio trabada, pa. Pero sí. Sí. sí, se traba. Vale. Hoy, hoy empezó yo, va. Ok. Hi, Bo. How is, how, how is it going? Fine, thank And you? Just fine. Where are you off to? To the library. I had to finish the assessment for tomorrow class. Why don't you do it at home? I have a part-time job in the evenings when I get home. I'll be too tired to do an, ass an assessment, assessment. Where do you work? I work in coffee, cafe. Why do you like the job? Ah, café. Café, café. Café. Sé sí que pensé que era como coffee, pero ¿a qué se refiere ese café? Café. Es un restaurante, es como una cafetería. La, la cosa es que ahorita se las como. No, me dicen ahí si lo escuchan. Café. Uy, sí, creo que... Reproduciendo no. desde laptop U6 y 123 NB. Café. 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 Café o... Café. Café. I work. Uh -huh. Café. Ajá, la cuestión es que como lleva ahí tildado. Bueno, ahí lo han tildado, pero la cuestión es que es una palabra que proviene del francés, entonces así la palabra se pronuncia. Ah, ok. Ajá, porque podemos decir coffee shop. Okay. Correcto. Ah, diferente. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Café. Está bien. Ajá. Y ahí solo chequen la palabra assignment. 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 Lo voy a poner por acá para que lo escuche. Assignment. 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 ¿Se escucha? Sí, se escucha. Sí. Yes, assignment. assignment. Ok. Bien. Continue. Eh, why do you like the job? It's interesting. I really enjoy working with, the pe with people and get extra money. How is the pay? The pay a right. I get uh, seven euro and horse. I would like to earn more as an as I need a lot of money to buy a new laptop and a smartphone. And how would you do that? I'll try to pick up as much money extra chief as I can. Será así. Might consider taking fewer course next semester. I would I wouldn't do that if I were you. 
you should make your study for first priority. And what if your parents know about it? Oh, you're right. Thank you for advice, Lucy. Hey, Edgar, I got to go now. See you later. See you, Dora. Uh, Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you doing? Very well. <laughs> Excellent, okay. <laughs> Any question about the vocabulary? Any word? I, have, I have many questions teacher, for you, but tell me. me. <laughs> the Damn. question in the second, second. In the segunda, second part. Columna. Uh -huh. Column. Mm -hmm. Second um, column. Above um, UGH. U G H Bob and the uh, ultima penultima ah U G H ah oh. no, solo, es una ah ah okay. mm -hmm. ah yo quiero ahí después de well I don't know yet I qué I might Consider, I Euro, might. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? I might consider. ¿Cuál, cuál era la otra? Así es. I might. Might. Ajá. Uh -huh. I might. Consider. 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 Quizás consider. considere uh -huh. mm -hmm. tomar menos cursos. Fewer. 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 Oh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Recuerden que few veíamos few como me parece que lo vimos en alguna ocasión que decía que les indicaba que era poco, ¿verdad? Y fewer, ahí cuando le agrega el ER, lo estamos haciendo comparativo, estamos diciendo menos, menos. Um, I might consider taking fewer courses. Está comparando con la, su situación actual. Pueda que considere the, well, tomar I would... pocos o menos cursos el próximo semestre. Ajá. ¿Y la otra? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. wouldn't. Uh, wouldn't. wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You were you. Okay. If I were, if I. If I if I, I were you. Were you? Were were. Were. Uh huh. If I were you. Now is that otra vez? I wouldn't do that if I were you. I wouldn't. I do. do I that. wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do I that do, if. I do. If I were, I were you. I would you wouldn't. I wouldn't. Where? Where? Mm -hmm. Where? Where? I were you. You told where? me your studies for should the priority. Priority. Should. Priority. Should. should. Uh -huh. I the priority. 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 How do you say priority? Euro, euro, teacher. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál era la otra? How do you how do you say euro, euro in English? How do you euro. say euro in English? No, no alcanza a escuchar. How do you pronounce? Como dice, I get euros. Siete euros. Ah, en, oh, en, oh, ah okay. En, oh. okay. Euros. ¿Cómo se dice euros? Euro. 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 Mm -hmm. Euro. Euro. Mm -hmm. The pace of Euro. life, I get seven euros. Seven euros. Uh-huh, euros. euros. An hour. Euros. An hour. Euros. Like to earn Se lo voy a poner acá. Eh, nos costaba más. <laughs> Euro. 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 Es Euro. una O, o con la última O. Euro. Uh, Euro. O. Ajá, Euro. como un O. Euro. 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 Mm -hmm. Euro. 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 Ok. Seven Euro. Seven Euro. 
Uh, euros. Hay que ponerle la S para usar el plural. Y... Euro. Euros. Euro. Euros. Eh, veamos ahí. Y la otra era I've got to go now, ¿verdad? I've. 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 I've, I've, I've got. I've got. I've got. I got to go now. 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 I've got to go now. See you later. I got to go now. See you later. I think I'll get you later. See you later, teacher. See you later. I got to go now. Bye. <laughs> Okay, guys, so we'll continue with our class. And well, as I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to be checking some adjectives. Uh, we have some vocabulary here. For example, we have beautiful, comfortable, comfortable, huge, ugly, dirty, and tiny. Okay, beautiful, comfortable, huge, ugly, dirty, and tiny. So we're going to be checking that. Okay. So let's try to compare that, uh, the words with the picture. So what do you think about, let's see, picture number one. So which could be the adjective? Any idea? ¿Cuál podría ser el adjetivo para escribir um, that mango, mangoes? Beautiful, comfortable, huge, ugly, dirty, tiny. Tiny, yes, tiny. <laughs> tiny. Um, you sure? Okay, yeah, it could be tiny and it could be huge, right? How about, uh, well, we have two examples, right? I think this is, um, let's say, huge, could be, okay. How about this one, a flower? How How is the flower? So... What's an adjective that can describe this flower? Beautiful. Beautiful, right? It's beautiful. Um, okay, so there is a cat on a sofa. Comfortable. Comfortable. Uh -huh, yes, he's very uh, lazy cat. Okay. <laughs> and uh, how about this one? What do you think? Which could be the adjective for this um, picture? Uh-huh. What is tiny, teacher? Ugly. Pequeñito. <laughs> <laughs> Ugly, right? And oh. any idea about these two hands, about these hands? Dirty. Dirty, okay. Means? It means? Sucias, right? Sucio. Okay. Dirty. And the last one, look at this. We have a huge hat and a tiny hat. Okay. Inmen tiny. Enorme y pequeñito, right? Small. Okay. So now, look at this. We're going to be analyzing how to use these uh, adjectives. We have positive and negative adjectives, right? Look at this. Positive adjectives. Um, Dora, please help us reading the positive examples. There are comfortable Comfortable rooms. Okay. There is a whole parking lot. Huge, huge. Huge, huge parking lot. Okay. And there are nice places to rest. Places to rest. Okay. Places to rest. 
there is an illuminated training room. Okay, perfect. Okay, hay you... cuartos. ¿Cómo son los cuartos? Confortable. Confortable, right? Son cómodos. Okay. Uh, there is a huge parking lot. So how is the parking lot? It's Grand. huge. Grande, huge. enorme. Mm -hmm. parking lot. There are nice places to rest. Hay lugares agradables, bonitos, chévere. Nice places to rest. Uh -huh, to rest. There is an illuminated training room. Hay un training room and how is that training room illuminado ¿Cómo illuminado <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> i have an illuminated uh let's say co-worker <laughs> negative adjectives okay entonces acá lo que estamos haciendo es clasificando algunos adjetivos pueden indicar uh, cosas positivas de, de alguna cosa o de una persona y también tenemos algunos que pueden ser justo para lo opuesto verdad so, uh, examples. Daniel, read the negative. There is, there is a narrow reception area. Area, area. Area. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. There is a smelly living room. Okay, so how is the reception? Como es la recepción? Ideas, narrow, what's that? Uh -huh. Narrow means, tell me you know it, narrow. Uh -huh. Hay una recepción bien ¿qué? pequeña, bien angosta. So that's a narrow reception area. Es pequeña, es angosta. So it's narrow, angosto. There are small offices, oficinas. Pequeñas. Pequeñas. There is a disgusting kitchen. ¿Cómo es la cocina? Mm -hmm. Disgusting. Desagradable, right? There is a disgusting kitchen area. Mm -hmm. La área de la cocina es desagradable. Uh -huh. There is a smelly living room. A smelly living room. What's a smelly? Smelly? Mal? Ya, ya le di la primera parte, mal que. Smelly. Mm, okay. So that's, mm, that's messy. That's messy. Oh. Smelly means maloliente. So there is a smelly living room. Okay. So as you notice, each of these, uh, well, all of these adjectives give us a description about a place. Todos esos adjetivos nos dan descripciones de un lugar. Uh, comfortable rooms, huge parking lot, nice places, illuminated training room, narrow reception area, small offices, disgusting kitchen, smelly living room, and we're going to be checking that. So we're going to be analyzing how to use these adjectives. Vamos a ver cómo utilizar estos adjetivos. So remember that these adjectives help us describe things or people. Example. Let's read the examples. Uh, Edgar, please. Number one, read these examples. The weather is? The weather is hot. Okay. The shear is yellow. Okay. The woman is young. young. Okay, young. The shoes are comfortable. The earrings? Uh, earrings are around are round, okay. round. Round. The okay. bag is big. The woman is British. 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 Okay. The woman is happy. Happy. <laughs> the trousers. Trousers. Trousers are jeans. Uh -huh. The clothes are pretty. Mm -hmm. Pretty. So uh, what are the adjectives that we have been mentioning? Hot, yellow, yeah. young, comfortable, round, big, British, happy, uh, jeans, pretty. And we're going to be checking the structure for these, um, well, for these adjectives. Where do we place each of them? Vamos a ver la estructura y donde los ubicamos, los adjetivos. 
So remember, we use adjectives to describe nouns. Recordemos que los adjetivos los utilizamos para describir sustantivos. Uh, an object, a person, an animal, uh, right? A place. Number one. Most adjectives can be used before a noun. Entonces, la mayoría de los adjetivos pueden ser utilizados ¿a dónde? Antes de un noun. De un noun, antes de un sustantivo. Ejemplo, a beautiful house. house. Adjective and a noun. A black jacket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how is the jacket? It's black, right? A black jacket. Number two. Or after a link a linking verb, for example, V, look in field. Okay, so let's try some examples. The house is beautiful. So verb to be is one of that linking verbs. For example, she is happy. We are smart, right? They are They are pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. They are pretty. So there you have the examples. So after verb to be, uh, you use, um after a linking verb, you can add an adjective. Entonces, quiere decir que después de un linking verb, como el verbo to be, nosotros utilizamos, podemos dar una descripción, podemos ubicar un adjetivo. The house is beautiful. After the verb look, you can also use an adjective. Okay. You look young. The best? Oh. Coven, right? So you look. See another one. She looks. Okay, the opposite. She looks old. It looks. Ancient. Okay, ancient. Se ve antiguo. Um, after the verb feel, you can also use an adjective. I feel, me siento, so give me an adjective. I feel. Me siento hambriento, right? I feel hungry. I feel angry because I'm hungry, okay? I feel nice. I feel Okay, tired, siento cansado. I feel excited, siento emocionado. So there you have some examples. You seen um, an adjective after a linking verb that can be verb to be, look, or feel. Entonces, después de estos linking verbs, mm. podemos utilizar un adjetivo ¿no? para describir algo. Me siento hambriento, enojado, alegre, eh, bien. Eh, cansado, emocionado, te ves joven, she looks old, ella se ve, right? <laughs> It looks ancient. And uh, look at this example, the film looks interesting. La película parece uh -huh. interesante, right? So now let's continue. Okay, so don't forget these uh, positions before and now you place an adjective or after a linking verb. So that's these are the two uh, positions where you place the adjective. Those are the positions where we place the adjective antes de un sustantivo o después de un linking verb. So now let's continue. Okay, so we use question. We use adjectives to super easy we use adjectives to to do what to describe uh-huh to describe come on to describe para que utilizamos los adjetivos Right now. Nouns, okay. Adjectives can be before. Mm -hmm. Before a. 
before a noun. Okay, adjectives can be after a, uh, and the last uh, one, linking. A linking. A linking verb. Okay, so we're going to be checking the examples. Okay, so let me open that for you. We're gonna be checking some more examples and we're going to analyze something else. Y vamos a aprovechar el tiempo y vamos a ver algo más. Entonces, ya vimos la posición de los adjetivos. Puede ser antes de un sustantivo, después de un linking verb. Ahora, vamos a ver, tenemos diferentes categorías de adjetivos. Como adjetivos de opinión, adjetivos de color, adjetivos de origen, de material, adjetivos que nos indican edad o propósito. Entonces, lo vamos a ver acá. ¿Para qué vamos a ver este orden? Adjectives or order. Entonces, los adjetivos también tienen un orden. Entonces, ya vimos dónde lo vamos a ubicar. Antes de un sustantivo, después de un linking word. Pero dentro de la categoría, dentro de todas las categorías de adjetivos, ellos también siguen un orden. ¿Cuál es ese orden? El siguiente. Ok, uh, look at this. Number one, a determiner. Primero que ubicamos acá, cuando usted quiere ubicar más de un adjetivo para dar una descripción, lo que hace es seguir este orden. No significa que lo va a poner todo, ¿verdad? Sería demasiado, ¿verdad? Sería muy... A menos que le esté vendiendo algo, tal vez, ¿verdad? Pero, por usualmente se ubican dos, puede ubicar dos o tres adjetivos, pero debe de seguir este orden. Entonces, ¿qué ubicamos primero? Un determinante, puede ser un determinante... Artículo indefinido, A or N, y luego va el adjetivo. ¿Cuál es el artículo? This one. A or A, right? Or N. Bien, podría ser a definite article, A, N, or da. ¿Y qué sigue después? Ok, si yo quiero dar una descripción, puedo ubicar un adjetivo de opinion, opinion, number two, size, size, es decir, Tamaño, shape, okay. shape, what's shape? What is that? Shape, ideas. Adjetivo de, de forma, okay. de forma. Vamos a ver, opinion, size, tamaño, forma, age, ¿qué es eso? Edad, color. Origin, origen, that's right. Material, for example, plastic, wood, material, ¿verdad? Plástico, madera, okay, metal, purpose. Y también podemos indicar un propósito. Ok. Y en ADN, y después de todo eso, ubicamos el sustantivo. Entonces, acá yo les he mencionado cuál es el orden. No quiere decir que los van a ubicar todos. Realmente unos dos o tres, pero deben de seguir ese orden. Por ejemplo, vamos a ver acá. Y al final, antes de eso, de pasar a los ejemplos, al final recuerden que deben de ubicar el sustantivo. ¿verdad? Vamos a ver los ejemplos. Acá, el número nueve, ahí era el punto nueve, el sustantivo. Ahora veamos los ejemplos. Vamos a ir viendo el cuadrito que tenemos arriba. Y vemos acá, I like this, me gusta este. ¿Cuál sería el orden correcto? Big, circular, new, pink. Pink, new, big, circular. Circular, new, big, pink. Alarm, clock. Miren cuántos adjetivos utilizaron para escribir el, el, el despertador. Ok. Opinion. So, which could be an opinion? Any idea? So, which could be our um, adjective? Ok, si no hay de opinión, pasamos al siguiente. Sí. I like this big. Oh, this big. Ok. Circular. Ok, sigue. Pero ok, vamos bien. Vamos con la, el tamaño. Ok, size. Luego sigue New. la forma. Luego sigue la edad. Ok, edad nos referimos no solo a viejo, ¿verdad? Puede ser nuevo, puede ser antiguo, puede ser moderno. Ok, new. Y luego, yeah. color. Hello. Color adjective. Ok. ¿Podría haber elegido esta otra? 
No, ¿verdad? Porque no sigue un orden. A pesar de que acá no teníamos opinión. Opinión es cuando yo le digo, ah, she's beautiful, she's uh, ugly. Estoy expresando mi opinión. Oye, bonita, es hermosa, el es feo. <ríe> ok, number two. It is a... Plane. Ok, this is the plane. Large, modern passenger, modern large passenger, 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 modern large. Modern large, passenger. modern large passenger. Modern, okay, let's check. Okay, modern. Modern, okay, large. Mm. Nice. Passenger. Large, modern passenger. Large, modern passenger. Okay, large, size. Modern, okay, let's see, H. Passenger. Purpose. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Passenger. Acá nos está indicando propósito. Un avión. It is a large modern passenger plane. Es un avión grande, moderno. ¿Cuál es su propósito? Transportar pasajeros. pasajeros. Ok. Number three. I have bought a motorbike. He comprado una, motor, una moto. Ok. Ahora quiero describir cómo es esa moto. I have bought a beautiful new Italian orange. Le voy a enviar la primera parte, esta, esta, este pedacito, en el chat para que ustedes vayan viendo la imagen. Okay, que la vamos moviendo. Okay, I have bought a beautiful new Italian orange. New beautiful orange Italian. Beautiful new orange Italia. <laughs> Sería... Beautiful bought? new orange Italia. Okay. Beautiful opinion new. New. It's H. Okay. Orange. Uh, origin. Uh, abajo, abajo. La C sería C. Ah, Okay. Ah, it's letter C. Ah, okay, yes, I was about to say that. Y acá se le va a decir eso. Okay, <laughs> beautiful, new, okay. Opinion, age, color, orange, origin, Italian. Okay. Number four, palm wears Wellington boots. High, new, violet, large. Large, high, new, violet. Violet, new, high, large. So what do you think? Large, high, new, violet. Large, high, okay. High, new, violet, large. Okay. So your thing is high, okay. New. New. Viola. Ok. Large. Color. Large. Mm, ok. And how about you, Daniel? Large, high, new, violet. Ok. New, violet. Ok. So we're going to try with that one. Ok. Letter B. Uh, how about number five? Ben lives in... A modern 10 story brick. Okay. Brick modern 10 stories. 10 story brick modern. Brick modern 10 story. Mm -hmm. Brick modern 10 stories. Brick. Okay. Brick. So no Ajá, uh -huh. ladrillo. Modern 10 stories. 10 stories quiere decir de 10, de 10 pisos. Any other opinion? Vamos a ver, ¿alguien más? Ok, this is too hard. <laughs> 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 Muy 
muy difícil. No, no, no está difícil. Vamos a ver. Ben lives in modern 10 story brick, brick modern 10 stories, 10 story brick modern. Let's go back. Vamos a hacer, vamos a hacer más pequeño para que se vea ahí todo. Okay. Ahí ya se ve un poquito más. Ben lives in. Modern. What do you think? Modern 10 story brick? Okay, modern. Um, okay, age. 10 story size. Um, yeah, size. Uh, material brick. Mm -hmm. Any idea? <laughs> uh -huh. um, yes, uh, what do you think? A modern 10 story brick. Um, okay. Modern B. opinion. Ten story. Modern is H. 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 Ah, mm -hmm. no. En historia era. Uh, de 10 pisos. Story, um, ten story. De 10 pisos. Una casa de 10 pisos. Yes, what do you think? Modern. Okay, modern 10 story break. 10 story shape. Okay. Or you start with the material, then modern, no, 10 story, no. 10 story break modern. 10 story. Okay. Size, break, material. Modern, it's H. Okay, so we just have them this one, right? Modern 10 story brick. So we're gonna check that one. Okay. How about six? Bill uses, Bill uses. Reliable, confiable. New, compact. Compact, reliable, new. New, compact, rentable. New, compa compact, reliable. Reliable means confiable. Mm, ¿Sería esa una opinión o qué sería? Reliable. Reliable. Shape. Mm -hmm. And size. And then you have H, right? Reliable, compact. New laptop. Any other opinion? Vamos a ver, alguien más? So what do you think about that one? Daniel, what do you think? Hey, reliable, compact, new. Okay. And, uh, okay. Well, we have some more, but we saw a butterfly. We saw a beautiful multicolored large butterfly. We saw a multicolored beautiful large butterfly. We saw a beautiful large multicolored butterfly. Vimos. Opinion. Adjective. Adjective. Multicolor. Mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful large beautiful large multicolor beautiful large multicolor oh, okay number eight look at my dress look at my 
beautiful new, beautiful small, beautiful silk. Silk means seda, okay? Silk means seda. Beautiful, new, small, red. Let's go back and check. Okay, opinion. Luego tenemos uno de age, uh, luego size, and then color, and then material. Beautiful, new, small, red, silk. Ah, okay. Do you think this is a correct one? Or beautiful, small, new. Vamos a ver lo otra vez. Okay. Opinion, size, shape, age, color. Beautiful, small, new. Uh huh. Beautiful. Okay. Opinion. Small, new, red. New, red. Okay. Red, color red. and material. Okay. So that's B, right? Uh, the last, uh, well, nine. I brought a, he traído, I brought a cake. I brought a large, high, white, delicious cake. Delicious, large, high, white. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> delicious, large, high, white. Right. Okay, so the thing is, you see. Let's see, opinion, delicious. Um, let's see, high. large. Large. Is? Shape, high. Uh -huh. Shape, okay. Shape. And uh, high. Color. Color, mm, okay. So we're gonna stay with that one. Mm, okay. So, but what do, you, what do you think about the size adjective? ¿Y qué hay de ir con el adjetivo de, de tamaño? Aquí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, that's the only one that fits. And ten, the last one. It is a teapot. That's a teapot. Original. It's like a Original, yellow, large, new. Original, large, new, yellow. Original, yellow, new, large. Original, large, new, yellow. Original, large, new, yellow. Okay. Nice. Okay, de una, de una le dio ahí este, Daniel. So let's check. Perfect. Ah, okay, so let's check this one. Oh, yes, we made a mistake. Sí, ahí nos equivocamos. Modern, sí, pertenecía a los eh, opinion. Opinion. Ajá, entonces era, ¿cuál era? It is a modern. Modern large passenger. Uh, it was B. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, solamente is modern, C is opinion. Okay, so now, uh, well, I'm going to pass the attendance list. No nos alcanza el tiempo para más, porque teníamos más <laughs> el siguiente nivel. Clase <laughs> <laughs> de reposición mañana. <laughs> mañana tratamos de continuar. <laughs> Uh, les tienen descanso unos días. Bien, nada más este, hacer la solicitud, chicos, de que, eh, bueno, nada más eh, también consultar, ¿verdad? Si ya realizaron la actividad de, del examen final. Está en la sección 4. Yes, yes. Vamos a ver. Yes, yes. Ok, voy a estar checando en un momento mientras paso asistencia. Ok, Calvin Alexander Hernández. Ok, Carmen Amada López Argueta. Cristian Vladimir Corvera Barahona. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Dora Trinidad Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you, Dora. Edgar Edenilson Reyes Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Romero Reyes. No. Fátima Alexandra Martínez. Okay. Fernando Ramírez Monge. Present. Thank you, Fernando. Ingrid Vanessa Blanco. Present teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Johnny Antonio Silva. Present. Thank you, Johnny. Jonathan David Martinez. Present. Thank you. Jose Efraín Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos López Alas. No. Um, okay, veamos. Juan Francisco Montoya Ruiz. Kevin Alonso Lobato. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Noé Aníbal González. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Antonio Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. William Vladimir Hernández Zapata. Present. Ok, perfecto, chicos. Ok, muy bien. Vamos a checar nada más. Este, bueno, quienes ya estén completos con todas las actividades, no hay problema, chicos, se pueden retirar, pueden descansar. Pero ahorita voy a checar este, acá si hay alguien que esté pendiente todavía de alguna actividad. Y también, bueno, si no lo han realizado, pueden realizarlo en el transcurso de, bueno, de esta noche o el día de mañana, en la mañana, para tener ya sus notas eh, más tardar mañana en la tarde. Ok. Vamos a ver. Ok. Acá tenemos a Calvin. Calvin, ahí nos hacen falta algunas actividades. Eh, Carmen, ya estamos al 100%. Eh, Cristian, nos falta ahí algunas actividades. Daniel, ya está... Listo para el siguiente, Daniel. Eh, sí, ya está. A ver. Solo el, el midterm, Daniel. Me creo que... El, cheque el midterm. Pero sí, ya, ya está aprobado. ¿verdad? Solo que el midterm está un poco bajo ahí. A ver, eh, Dora, ya está bien. Eh, Edgar. Edgar, nos hace falta... Me parecería que... El examen final. Edgar. Edgar, el examen final. ¿Por quién más? Eh, Fernando, examen final y también el homework 4, es decir, semana 4. Ahí nos faltan dos cosas, semana 4 y el examen final. Copiado, eh, en uh -huh. un momento lo realizo. Ok, perfecto. Ahorita les digo, Johnny, el final exam, es lo único que nos falta. Ok, Efraín, ya está todo perfecto. Juan Francisco, nada más, el final exam, me parece. Vamos a checar. Sí, solo el final exam. Kevin, todo listo. Vamos a ver también. Mario, ya está bien. Noé Aníbal, perfecto. Déjenme checar, no me voy a estar equivocando. Les digo que sí. <ríe> y después... Ahora el teacher me dijo que sí había pasado. Ok, no, sí, sí, aquí estoy bien. Ok, no, Juan Francisco, sí, el examen final nada más. Vamos a ver quién más se me queda por acá. Ok, eh, Oscar. Sí, nos falta... Oscar, nos falta el examen final y terminar las actividades del home, de la semana 4. Uh -huh. Ok, no, teacher, no. mañana lo completo. Ok, y William, William, ya estamos al 100 ahí. Ok, ¿hay alguien que tenga dudas? No. Ok, bueno, si está Calvin por ahí, eh, Calvin, sí, ahí nos hace falta algunas actividades. 
Cristian también se están por ahí. Ok. Teacher, ¿me podría confirmar si tengo completas todas las actividades? Ok, ahorita le confirmo. Eduardo. Bye, bye, teacher. Thank you por todo. Okay. Gracias, Fernando. Feliz noche. Okay. Solamente vamos ahí. Eduardo, Eduardo Romero, no sé si está por acá. Eduardo, nos falta ahí algunas actividades. El homework 4, algunas actividades y el examen final. Ok. Um, no sé, ¿quién, quién, me, ¿Quién me dijo ahí que le confirmara? Ingrid. Ingrid. Ok, Ingrid. No, está todo bien, Ingrid. Ya estamos, listo. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Gracias, chicos. Nos vemos entonces. Espero que en, en el próximo <risa> nivel. Si no, me voy a dar cuenta que están en otro nivel. Okay. <laughs> see you guys. See you. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Dora. Yes. Gracias por todo. Gracias, Dora. Gracias, chicos. Feliz noche. Cuídense. Gracias. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye, bye. bye. Vamos a vernos bye. pronto. Nos vemos pronto. <laughs> see you, Edgar. <laughs> see you, teacher. Bye. Tiene un examen todavía que se. Ah, tiche, ni me lo recuerde. Sí, es que sí. Es un gusto, bye bye. Un gusto, Edith.